Step out of the world where reality is not what it seems. A world where the truth is hidden in plain sight. Plato, one of the greatest thinkers of our time, predicted today's society over 2,400 years ago. His allegory of the cave symbolizes the modern day matrix that we live in. It's almost as if he predicted it, but he could only use what he knew to depict it. Whereas today, we have the film called The Matrix. Are you ready to unravel the reality you live in daily and step outside of the matrix? Remember, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. Hey guys, Ty here. And in this video, we will go into depth about how the allegory of the cave relates to modern day matrix. And if you stick around until the end, I'll show you how you could win a paid trip to Thailand with an extra $500 spending money. So let's start by understanding what Plato's Allegory of the Cave really is. The Allegory of the Cave is a powerful metaphor for the limitations of our perception of reality. In the Allegory of the Cave, prisoners are trapped inside a cave and they're only able to see the shadows on the wall cast by a fire behind them. When one of the prisoners is freed and sees the world for what it really is outside of the cave, he realizes that his entire existence has been a false reality. The concept of false reality is echoed throughout the modern day matrix, a world where everything is not what it seems to be. Hopefully you've got an understanding of what the allegory of the cave is now, so we can begin to talk why it is so relevant in 2023 and unravel how Plato predicted society over 2,400 years ago. Seriously, after this video, you should probably look into Plato. To begin with, we focus on setting the cave. This is the world that we live in, as in the allegory. It can be seen as a place where people are limited by their perceptions and their understanding of reality, restricted by only the information that they are presented with. For example, the news, the radio, the TV, influencers. Now, the matrix can be seen as a metaphor for its limited understanding of reality. In the movie, the Matrix is a simulated reality controlled by machines that keep humans trapped as a false sense of reality. People in the Matrix are unaware of the true nature of their existence and they're limited by what they are programmed to believe in. Just as in the allegory of the cave, the prisoners are unaware of the reality outside of the cave and they are limited by the shadows they see on the wall. Think about it. If somebody controlled the shadows, they could control their perception of reality. Now it is in this part that Plato had realized all those many years ago that our environment is created to hold us back and that without breaking out, we are merely at the mercy of the controlling powers around us. The next part is the prisoners, i.e. us. The people living in the matrix can be seen as the prisoners in the allegory who are trapped and limited by their perspective and are unaware of the true nature of existence. Now in the movie, the characters are unaware that they are living in a simulated reality and are confined to the limited perception provided by their senses. Now think about it. Once the person came back to the cave and he told everybody, guys, outside of the cave, there's a beautiful world with trees, with water, with animals I've never seen before. And just by stepping outside of your comfort zone, you can see the true nature of reality. You want to know what the other people did on the wall? They cursed and laughed at him and resisted to everything they said. They called him the crazy one. Similar to modern day society, when you see people that go out of their way to come back from their riches, to come back from their fame, to come back from their glory, to help other people open their eyes and see reality for what it really is and show people that to become successful you need to do hard things you need to suffer you need to go every single day and not stop and realistically it's a lot easier than the modern day society that we lived in where we're, we're chained down by you know, our environment and what do people do they comment they hate they resist now let me bring this back both of the prisoners in the allegory of the cave and the characters in the matrix are confined by their limited view of reality. That prevents them from understanding the true nature of the world around them. They're only able to see the shadows or the simulations of reality rather than experiencing reality for itself. This is where we are. Now, currently we're trapped in the nine to five and the graveyard ships and there's no way forward. We're confounded by our environment, by tax, by society. And there is more to mundane work. Now remember, following on from the prisoners, Next, there are the shadows. These shadows that the prisoners see on the wall, which currently is the media which we ingest every single day. In the matrix, 
The shadows can be seen as the illusions and the false beliefs created by the system that we are currently trapped in. The characters in the movie are presented with a false reality which they initially accept as being true. What is he doing? He's beginning to believe. <laughs> He's starting to believe, right? The shadows in the allegory of the cave are similar in that they represent the false beliefs and illusions that prisoners are presented with. They see only the shadows of the objects rather than the real objects themselves. The shadows in the cave are a limited, distorted representation of reality. Just as the simulated reality in the matrix is a limited, distorted representation of reality too. You are constantly facing these false realities, yet you have no clue. Now we all suffer from them. Me, myself, I'm having to go through a dopamine fast right now. So listen, you are not alone. It is what you do, the sacrifices that you make to see Alice in Wonderland look, to see past the looking glass that really matters. Next up is the fire. But before we get into that, if you're enjoying this episode so far, make sure you comment fire with a little fire emoji in the description. So I know that your head is in the right place and that you're really ready to change your life. Seriously, like the video. So look, now let's get into the fire. In the allegory, Plato uses the fire as the source of light that casts the shadow from the objects onto the wall. In the matrix, the fire would be the sentient beings and their computers who had created a false reality Neo escaped from. But for us, in the real world, the fire is the powerful unforeseen forces that dictate and control us and control the world. We can't see them. Just like the fire behind the prisoner's wall, and we have to accept that. Too many people go around creating these conspiracy theories, trying to figure out who the powerful people are. But believe me, it does not matter. All that matters is that you understand the game that we're playing. We don't know what they want from us and when they want us to know stuff. Now, how do we escape? They managed to break free, just as the man managed to break free and leave the cave. This is Neo and his friends in the Matrix. It is also like me and my friends out in Thailand, outside of the Matrix. We have all gone through something similar to get out of this cave and the Matrix or the modern day Matrix and we reaped the reward. You know, it was just today, I was at a restaurant and somebody said to me, they said, Taro, what do you actually do? Because every single time I see you, you just chill. And it's that tip of the iceberg theory. They didn't see the sacrifices. They didn't see the knowledge and the study. And just like you guys, they didn't know that study to break outside the matrix. So yeah, once you're outside, every day is a holiday. But believe me, after you've watched this video, you're not going to be able to put the glasses back on. So make that decision wisely. So now when it comes to the outside of the world, Plato speaks to the escape, having to adjust to the surroundings, the light, the heat, the trees, the wildlife, and all of these new things he never knew existed. This was echoed in both the Matrix and both in my life. Once Neo broke free, he was confused at the first things he seen. It took him a while to become attuned to his new surroundings. Why am I eyes so? You've never used them before. And as you know, once he starts to believe in these new feelings, he becomes the one. For me, I went through a similar stage to you guys. I had to find mentors online. There was nobody in my outside surroundings or environment who had broken outside the matrix. And to this day, I go back through my family tree and I don't see nobody with the same understanding of the matrix as me and the same understanding as reality. And this is why I made this YouTube channel to show you guys the step-by-step -step process outside of the matrix. Now that doesn't mean you have to become rich or you have to become famous, but you do have to follow the examples that I've posted in this video. So yeah, my process was a painful process, similar to Neo breaking out of the matrix when he has to wake up again, have a rebirth and pull this painful thing out of his head, similar to how it will be for you. Hopefully you're lucky and somebody understands, or if you're somebody similar to me and nobody in your outside circle relates, then you will have to go through the painful process of understanding that you can see the reality that other people cannot see. Now let's get on to the last part, the return to the cave. Going back to where you left, after experiencing such a greatness is very, very hard for you. As I'm sure you'd agree, you'd like to bring all of this to your close friends and family, you know, the people who came on your journey to success. And once you're there, you'd like to teach them the step-by-step -step things, the way outside of the matrix so they can learn it themselves. However, this is not easy. You see, when they escape outside of the matrix, there were people like Cypher. You know, if you guys ever heard the story of the frog and the scorpion, very very similar to 
how Cypher reacts to being told about the Matrix and it's not true. He'd rather live in the Matrix and you guys will have to accept that. Some of your friends, some of your family, they won't want to break free. And as we mentioned at the beginning of this video, you speak to convincing people about the vast world outside and bring this to the, to the new surroundings. And to them, it seems alien. They will call you crazy. They'll refuse to leave and they'll rather shackle their chains and lock themselves in the cave. Now in Plato's story, the escaped man left and left his friends behind. This is shown differently in the Matrix. Neo knows that the rest of the world is unable to contemplate or understand that they're in the Matrix, so he doesn't even try. <laughs> he joins his new friends and forgets his previous life altogether. Now, for me, I've had a similar, you know, a similar path. A lot of my old friends and a lot of my distant family, they have not seen the work that I've been putting in. They have not understood the hustle, the grind, and the focus that I've been putting in as well. And look a lot of people have to be left behind. So I can understand the same thing for you guys if you go through the same, I really do understand. But when you're on the right frequency, you'll find new friends. You'll relate to new people who have similar beliefs and understanding to you. And the rest, well, the rest get left behind. And that's why I decided to build a community of like-minded people, like-minded individuals, to show people how to break outside the matrix. So you can join the Side Hustle Club. The link is in the description. 100 free spaces every single month. Now you see, to conclude, Plato knew all of this. He wrote in this allegory to share the fact that the world isn't what it seems. The world is only what you make it. No matter how hard these unforeseen powerful forces try, they cannot fully conquer your free will. Use this to your advantage. Do the opposite of people told you in the school. Do the opposite that people tell you in the nine to five. They tell you it's hard. They tell you that you can't make it. Yeah, there are people out there that make thousands of dollars per day. So when you think about it, in 10 or 20 days, some people like me are making more money than these people that try to tell you not to in one month that they are making in one year. Think about it, really, really think about it. 12 hour shifts, saving up for a holiday. Do you really want to live this life? Now use this free will to create something that will last for thousands of years. Your mind is the most powerful tool that you have. Now use it wisely and you will see that it will change the outside world. And it all starts within. Plato figured this out 2,400 years ago. Learn from him, learn from me, and you are in the best position where you ever will be. Now guys, as I mentioned, I hope you liked the video. I'm giving away a free trip to Thailand to show you guys the life outside the matrix. I'm not only giving you the free trip, I'm giving you $500 to spend and the one-to-one -one mentoring. And all you have to do is like my Instagram photo, tag two friends or follow me on Instagram where I'll show you daily new tips and new tricks that you can use to break outside the matrix. So I hope you enjoyed the video. You've got nothing to lose. Click the link in the description and I'll see you guys on my Instagram. And if you haven't left just yet, check out the next video on my YouTube channel. Peace.